What's going on, everybody? This is DeAndre Campbell with Warrior Academy, and you are tuned in to the first episode of the Warrior Academy Catch and Cover series. On this Catch and Cover series, you will find tools and techniques, film breakdown to help you understand the game at a deeper level so that way you can elevate your game when it comes to getting on the field. Tools, strategies, so that way you can ask questions in the comments and get your questions answered so that way we can all grow together. In this segment, we are breaking down the University of Washington versus Oregon. Highlights from that game, key plays, key tips to help you understand how you can be a playmaker just like these guys that you're seeing on Saturdays. And let's get to work. Now, here's a free play for Penix and he'll just launch downfield. 50-50 ball, Odunze's got it! Wrestled. This first play, UW takes advantage of a great opportunity of an offside to just throw it up. Penix to Rome, just going up and making the play. But let's break down what Rome does a great job of on this play. So, first things first, Rome gets on the defender's toes, okay? He gets on his toes and then he makes his move around him, okay? He doesn't make his move too soon. It's important to close that cushion before you make your move around the defender on the go route. If you make your move too soon, he can get in the way of making sure you can't get the ball, all right? Rome also does a great job of once he gets around him, okay, he doesn't let the DB's hands affect his ability to track the ball and make that catch, okay? He's able to find a way to focus even when he's pulling, but also look, he catches the ball with high hands above his eyes over the shoulder. This is a textbook catch look he's fading at the right moment to where the defender no matter where he is even if he was closer he couldn't make a play on this ball right here this is great technique by rome on being able to make the play on this go route jalen holds in motion and it's pump fake and now launches a dart down to the end zone Cut. touchdown giles jackson it was good seeing giles jackson back out there but Look at this motion. This motion gets the defense to roll. Okay, they fake the screen to the bottom of the screen, leaving one-on-one -on -one coverage. What we see is, is a great matchup here. You see Giles Jackson. Dub got to use him this weekend in a major way. He comes right here on this post route. Okay, this is a wide depart post by Giles Jackson. Let's break down how he's able to get open on this route here. Giles Jackson does a great job here on this wide depart post, okay? He takes his angle towards the bottom of the numbers, getting the corner to widen his hips, okay? You will see the corner has to angle out to open up because he has to respect where Giles is coming, okay? Because Giles continues to widen, the DB has to respect the wide depart release. Puts him in a great position. Now, what Giles does at the top is take this rocker step, causes him to stutter his feet, and Giles just takes it over the top for the score. Pressure picked up again, launching for the end zone, caught, touchdown! You have a bunch alignment, okay, like they set up right here. The top man knows he has the point man, which is Polk. So Polk knows he has press coverage right here. This is great design by UW. So he knows it's a fade. He has all this space to the sideline right here, okay? All he needs to do is get this DB to hesitate his feet and then it becomes a track race on getting to that spot. Penix knows all he has to do is lay this ball over his outside shoulder. Polk does a great job of positioning himself to be able to make that play. Polk does a great job using a split release to get the DB to hesitate his feet and then get to that pylon for the touchdown. Excuse, let's see, but he's got dialed up here. Ducks. Rush four, Penix, sideline run, intercepted. On this play right here, this is just, you know, textbook, making sure that as a receiver, you always wanna make sure your fundamentals are in line, okay? What I wanna see Rome do on this route here is I wanna see his nose over his toes when he's running out of his break right here, okay? He does, he has his weight on his heels, he falls back, and that just leaves the opportunity for the pick to happen, all right? This, no receiver is perfect. Um, and that's the one thing that I wanna stress in this as well is, you know, you can be the number one receiver or you can be an upcoming receiver. It doesn't matter. You want to always make sure the fundamentals stay the fundamentals, um, no matter how high you go up in this game. Kind of sliding to a different position here as Penix lost for the end zone. Jump ball caught. Touchdown, Odunze. So what we see right here is that Rome has a cut split, which leaves him a lot of room to win on this fade route. He gets a defender to hesitate at the line of scrimmage with a split release. And by split release, it gets him to hesitate. Now he has an ability to fade out and just go find that ball. 
Penix makes a great throw, giving Rome the ability to go up and snatch it out the air right here. Look, this right here is just big on big, good on good. Doesn't matter where the DB is, I'm going to go up and find the ball. Penix backpedals, goes right down, field in traffic. It's Pope with a leaping catch. This, this, was, this was a true Heisman moment by Michael Penix here, okay? And Jalen Polk making a clutch play here, okay? Polk is in the slot right here. He's your number two. He looks to have a fade, all right? But the DB cuts him off. But Polk does a great job of not letting that phase him and continue to go upfield here, all right? You'll see right here, okay, when he gets to the point to where he wants to break, he's selling, he's about to go outside. He cuts him off, but he doesn't panic, cuts underneath. When the DB even tries to grab him, he's able to swat and swim, get his hands off of him, continue to push vertical, track the ball, and go up and make this play here, okay? The safety doesn't know where the ball is, but the receiver, Polk, is able to go up, catch that ball, making a clutch play for University of Washington. Launching for the end zone, forget me, patient! Odunze! And Washington takes the lead! Penix saw this look, he got a single high safety and said, I'm giving my guy a shot, all right? I got the best receiver on the field, the playmaker, I'm giving him a chance on a fade route right here. He throws a beautiful back shoulder ball right here. Rome makes a great adjustment to put UW ahead late in the game. This is playmakers at their finest. When you want a play to be made, are you that guy? And Rome showed he was that guy. He goes up back shoulder, snatches the ball, but this is what is textbook about it too. He doesn't let the DB's hand get the ball away, okay? He's able to snatch the ball out the air, but also snatch it away from the DB of being able to get the ball out. Textbook play in a great moment and a championship moment. Hope you guys enjoyed what you just saw. Thank you for tuning in to the first episode of the Warrior Academy Catch and Cover series. I hope you learned a lot of information. If you enjoyed what you saw today, make sure you click that like button, you subscribe, and you share this video with somebody to help them elevate their game. Let's go, the Warrior way.